Let's declare, art is never finished, only abandoned. My name is Leonardo, Leonardo da Vinci. I lived in the Renaissance period, a time when art was a massive component of society. When the Renaissance period began in Italy in the 1300s, which lasted for 300 years, it spread throughout all throughout Europe. People's creativity awoke, rediscovering um, Greek and Roman culture. Um, people once again focused on art, architecture, and literature all across Europe. Universities, libraries, and, he and hospitals were diligently constructed while soci society thrived. I lived an extraordinary life during this time. Marvelously, my inventions were hundreds of years ahead of its time. I created mas many masterpieces and became one of history's greatest masterminds. My life was memorable, interesting, and one of pure genius. I was born in 1452 in a town of Vinci. Thus the name Leonardo the Da, which in Italian means from Vinci. My mom, Caterina, um, was a peasant, and my dad, Sir Pedro, was a land official. Sadly, he never married Caterina, which meant I was not entitled to have any education or inheritance. So I taught myself. When I was a teenager, I journeyed to live in Florence, where Sir Pedro, my dad, resided. Did. Upon my arrival, my dad saw a greatly adroit talent in me. Dashing to Verruccio, who was a master craftsman and artist, Sir Pedro secured an apprenticeship with me. After thinking, um, after learning from Verruccio and surpassing my master, I joined a guild and opened my own shop. Later, I traveled to Milan in order to work for Duke Lesotho. Wisely, I left just Milan just in time to avoid the imminent black plague because I recognized the city did not have good hygiene and I would suffer when the plague hit. At one point of my life, I worked for Pope Leo X in Rome and even a warlord named Sora Bargara. My favorite thing to do was buy birds and set them free. Throughout my life, I loved animals, God's creation, and people and discovering how it all worked. My life became one of the most memorable people um, who ever lived during the Renaissance period. Over my lifetime, I cleverly invented a wide range of things. I was a man who would always ask questions about every, anything and everything. For an example, I would observe the water and the creatures living, that lived in it in order to attempt their movements. This continual study led to great inventions Surveying the world um, around me, I was able to draw plans for an underwater submarine in thirteen in 1500. I was the first man to um, first man to formulate the idea of a pedal boat. I also had a idea of how to walk on water using flotation devices. When I wasn't examining the water, I was looking in, in the sky. I invented the orthohopper which is a bird-like contraption. I hope to fly in the heavens. Um, it was supposed to work by pushing pedals down with your feet to make the wings on the sides to flap up and down. It didn't work as it was limited um, for um, human, um, by human physiology. Cleverly, I drew original plans for the helicopter I invented the parachute in 1455, 45. In 1517, one of my last creations was the hang glider. I worked for years for Duke Lesotho, um, chief of Milan, well, Duke Lesotho, Duke of Milan, as the chief engineer. I, um, my elite position allowed me to have a workshop with servants and pupils. I was free to wonder, experiment, and create. During this time, I, once again, by observation, I figured out how to harness energy from stream, water, and wind. I also took advantage of my position to study Roman ruins in order to strengthen my architecture of my time. After working for Duke Lesotho, I started working for Sura Bargara, a warlord. Sarah Bagara had me invent weapons such as the tank, a one-man operated crossbow that was bigger than a bus, grenades, 
and a multiple and a multi-barrel machine gun. I was always inventing. I was a man hundreds of years ahead of my time with my inventions. The marvelous masterpieces like the Mona Lisa and the Last Supper had no limit for the intelligence of um, the mastermind, me. I, even though I did not go to school, I was self-taught. At 12 years old, my dad took me to Ruscio to become an apprentice where I directly learned how to paint, sculpt, and adroitly cast musical instruments and make surgical tools. At one time, Ferruccio was working on a painting of Jesus' baptism, but um, Ferruccio needed help. Um, he invited me to paint the final angel in the scene. After I finished um, painting, Ferruccio saw the angel in the book, Who Was Leonardo da Vinci? The author wrote, I painted the angel so well, and he was full of faith, um, full of life, that everything in the painting looks stiff. Edwards 22. Ruscio never painted again. I wrote backwards, from right to left. Um, I wrote backwards from right to left with mere letters and words in his no in my notebooks. While some people think that I wrote this way because I was left-handed and didn't want to smear the ink. Others think it was because I wanted to keep my thoughts and design secret. Not only I was amazing at painting, but I, t my talents also extended to music, poems, and storytelling, telling, which I told in front of people of great wealth. I inspired many with my ideas um, many ideas for projects, but most of them I would not finish in time. In fact, only 13 of my paintings exist today. Sadly, three of them remained unfinished. I was always on to the next idea. Painting the last supper, I experimented with a paint similar to watercolors with a different type of canvas. I hoped it would dry quicker, but it didn't last the years. Since I attempted the, this new style of painting, on the Last Supper is now flaky and needs restoration. Of all of my various accomplishments, my paintings, the Mona Lisa and the Last Supper, are best remembered as my finest masterpieces. Um, my life was remarkable. My adventures were advanced. I was a mastermind. Thankfully, I was born during the Renaissance period. Um, since the Renaissance period had encouraged ideas of art and inventions, I was urged to develop my mind. I unsettled with my natural talents. I was able to um, make a living of practicing my art, developing my new ideas, and exercising my creativity. Because of the time which I lived in following the Renaissance period, I displayed man's potential. During my life, I set an example of how to learn by observing the world around me and constantly asking questions. Perhaps the greatest impact of my life could be on the reminder to keep our eyes open and never stop asking questions.